Hi there, I'm using ArcGIS Pro 2.7 and what I'm going to do is take this grid file, this layer of, of polygons, these regions, um, uh, which is just a simple vector when I click, uh, it's got some basic info, um, each one is uniquely named, so there's F1 there for example and that one is E4 and I'm going to take the underlying raster information which is SRTM its height information and I'm going to get all the stats that I can out of that and add them uh, effectively join them as attributes to these um, shapes so at the moment uh, um, I have these just these two loaded um, the vector file my raster data and the SLTM which is just a TIFF. So the way, uh, one way to do this, as, as with many things in various GIS tools, is there's several ways. Uh, one way to, to, to do this is the, using the zonal stats as table um, command. So if you go to analysis, click down, you'll see zonal statistics as table. Uh, the input feature data is my raster data which is actually this grid it's probably not the best naming convention there um, but it's where a lot of the raster information is going to end up um, because you see it says input raster all feature zone data so my zones are effectively these these squares uh, my, my unique reference I'm going to use here is this zone field my input is the TIFF uh, this is the output table I'll just leave it as that uh, I think I'll just accept all um, stats, uh, the whole lot of them, um, but as you can see you can select what you want, uh, leave the percentile value and I think I'll leave it just as that really. So let's run it. So that'll run, and no, note it's saying zonal st statistics as table. So you're going to get a table back here. You're not going to get um, features. You're not going to get geometry. And I'll show you how to bring that in. So you see how it's a standalone table on the left-hand side there. So if I go to the open and look at the attribution, what you'll see here is basically everything. So I've got, got the original uh, sort of grid, um, these grids here which is just a few columns and then tacked on, onto these so all these attributes from this zonal statistics this table function this geoprocessing um, tool so everything's here you know the mean and uh, lots of decimal places uh, median um, you, you know min it's 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 all there so but like I said a standalone table it is not being mapped and really what I'd like to do is the final piece as I've used this tool specifically which generates a table um, is kind of um, make this all uh, geometry so the way the way you can do that is just to join them so um, that's my um, polygon file see that's where my um, vectors are my geometry so I'll do a add join and I will use description because that, that's like the A1 and A2 and stuff, so it's unique. I'll hit uh, violate. It's useful to do that because you get a quick um, check on what's going on before you run it. And sure enough, the input table has 36 and the join table has 36, which is good. And uh, note if it sort of came back with like one or something in there, what that might mean is that you've selected a record or two down in the attribute table because then it may be picking up just on the selection so watch out for that so let's just close this attribute for window so when I click on here now you'll get a whole load of all the data so it's actually in the geometry as you can see it's a, it's a feature so I can now do things like use labeling so let's go to let's turn label on for starters um, so you can see it's just using the default um, column name. So let's do, um, let's replace that I think with the mean. Um, oh, that's slightly wrong. Uh, let's apply. 
it's got loads of decimal places. So let's see if we could soon soon fix that. Let's go find round. Which is there. Just put the brackets there and apply. And now those are the mean average uh, cell values, so the height, this is meters, within each of these squares um, derived from the SRTM. And it's now all back to data to do with as you wish. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.